Hello everyone and welcome back to Broccoli Master YouTube channel. In today's video, we will set up our Django project. So without wasting time, let's begin it. So on the screen, you can able to see that I have created the folder name schools and, and after that, I will open this folder in our BS code. So let's do that. So for it, we will write the command cmd, okay? And from the cmd, write code dot. After that, our BS code will be open here. So let's, I'm taking this BS code from here. And in our VS code, let's open the terminals. And on these terminals, we need to start our project. Okay, so for it, we will write the command Django admin start project and let's uh, name it home. Okay, so finally, our project has been started here. I will write I again close this and open this in our terminal. CMD. And write again code dot our VS code will be open again here. Let's fetch it here. Okay. So similarly to that, we also need to create our app. So for creating the app, first we need to create our virtual environment. So let's do it here. For it, we will write the command Python minus M N of env. Okay. And let's click on the yes button. After that, it will, it will take uh, some seconds and it will create our virtual environment. So again, we need to activate this environment. So write the command env scripts activate. So finally, our environment activated. So on this virtual environment, we also need to install the Django. So let's install it on it here. If install Django. And Django will be installed in our virtual environment. It will take uh, some seconds. So wait for that. So after that, we also need to create our app. So let's do it. We write the command Python minus dot py start app, and I will name it as school. Okay. So write school here. After that, you will able to see here the school app is created successfully. Okay. And after creating this app, we also need to install in our settings. So let's install it here. Our settings go here and we don't need this stuff. So let's remove this. And in the install app, just install this app. M is cool. Okay. So let's save it. And after saving this, we also need to initialize the URLs of it. So here we will let include after that right here path. And this path must be included here. Okay. So let's save it. And we also need this router. Let's copy this. And we also need to get the URLs here. And on this URLs, uh, let's uh, remove this all the stops. Uh, okay. For now, let's uh, check either our server is running well or not. Okay. For it, we will write views dot x after that name is called to x let's import from dot import views. and we have not defined the views here so we also need to define it here let's write here def index request and and right here return http response so here already option is showing so let's correct it and let's write it here hello world okay after saving this, let's start our server python minus dot py run server. Some of the problem is seen here. So it's showing the error. Let's check it where we have made the mistakes. So in the resolvers, it is saying that no model object is in each table. So we are facing this error because uh, we have not defined the URLs here. So let's do that. And here we will write dot URLs. Okay. And let's save it. And you will see here our server is running well. So let's see it here. Click on it, and here we can see that hello world is printed. So this is for my sites, and in the next video, we will render our templates files in our Django project. So if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel, please make sure that you have subscribed it and like this video and share with your friends and family who are interested to learn Django from the scratch. So this is for today. Thanks for watching the video.